Good day everyone, Dan here. I wanted to take a few minutes before when I had actually got to work today with the usual broadcast to record thoughts on something that really just hit me out of the blue. Uh, I was looking through my normal websites that I do when I wake up, trying to figure out what's going on, any news, things like that. And as, as usual, I do at least check MMO Champion. And it hit me that I had a perfect opportunity to show what makes vanilla and, and Burning Crusade, and generally speaking, the, the more legacy content, much more special than, than what we have now. What you're seeing is the front page of MMO Champ. It's one of the more recent posts. Um, just just a day ago. Uh, and it shows a list of all the different artifact item changes. The legendary item changes, rather. Um, these are all different legendaries for each class that are available. And you have, you know, all these different ones. Some of the, the, This is just the ones that really got changed. There might be more out there. There might be less. Who knows? And... Thinking on this, I realize that this is exactly the reason why Vanilla especially is so much more special than anything that the current retail World of Warcraft has to offer. Look at all these legendaries. In Vanilla, and I'm using it as, as a specific example, we have two legendaries. Two. Two. We have the Hand of Rag, and we have Thunder Fury. Now, these are, of course, melee-centric, and I understand that. However, it takes an entire guild working together to get to these legendaries. And they have immeasurable amount of use for the classes that can use them. Generally speaking, once you get one, you're probably not going to set it down unless you have a damn good reason. Now the difference here is suddenly every class, and even some of these are multi-class, has their own legendaries. They have all these own legendaries. Now, do you have to work towards them? Do you have to, you know, start this measurable quest line that you have to do to start getting one of these that takes time and effort or resources you have to craft them maybe oh you have to maybe you have to put them together yourself and it takes so many uh, of your friends and your resources and you have to you know put tons of time and effort into them no they're just randomly dropped they're just randomly dropped who knows that's it. Nothing special, nothing that you have to work towards, nothing you have to, you know, work with other people. You have to cooperate and, and get organized. None of that. They're just randomly dropped. Just, oh, hey, you did, you did some uh, Mythic Pluses. Here's your randomly dropped Legendary. Congratulations. It's awesome. You don't have to farm raid bosses. You don't have to get these certain pieces of gear. You don't have to go into certain instances and do specific things. You don't have to go all over the world multiple times. You just get them. And this is, this is the point. Legendaries in retail... And this goes for a lot of the itemization. Epics, we had this problem with in uh, Cataclysm. Uh, they're meaningless. Half the time when you get one of these, you'll probably say, Oh, I didn't really want that. You should never, under any circumstances, say to a legendary item, You know what, I really am not going to use you. You don't quite have the stats I need. That's ridiculous. It's not a legendary anymore. It's just another epic drop in the pool of 50 billion other epic drops you can get by doing everything possible in, in retail. Literally anything you want, you are probably going to get an epic drop. Oh, you did some world quests. Have a couple epics. 
Oh, you you decided to go ahead and do your wither training for the day. Here, have some epics. You went into a mythic instance. Have epics. And then, of course, depending upon everything you do, you could get one of these, or many of these, wonderful legendaries. Look at this, even. Look at this. So, where where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Um, here we go. Hood of Eternal Disdain. This is a Warlock one. Hood of Eternal Disdain, or Wakener's Loyalty. These are both headpieces. You could get both of them, and you would have to say, well, which legendary do I like more? Why? Why should that even be a question? You shouldn't have multiple legendaries for one slot. It makes absolutely no sense. Legendaries that even do similar things except for their special effects. Where this one affects soul shard generation. And this one affects uh, agony. A, a warlock ability. It makes absolutely no sense. Legendary should be a once-in-a-lifetime thing. And they should have immeasurable power to them. So much so that you bend your character to make them function appropriately. This just pollutes the game. This, this kind of cheapening of, of, of how important a legendary can be. When all of a sudden, almost anyone can get three or four of them. It makes it less special. Instead of having to work towards it, suddenly it's just this roll of the dice. It's just... This makes me sad for, for the direction that World of Warcraft has gone. And it makes me almost... It doesn't make me angry, but it makes me annoyed at people who actively and eagerly support this. Because while, yeah, sure, it makes you feel good when you get one, two, three legendaries. Where do you go from there? The escalation is already so high at that point. They have to make another new class of item past legendary just to make things special. Oh, wait, they already did with artifact it just it's not world it's not warcraft anymore this feels nothing like warcraft this feels like a special snowflake simulator and it it it, it i do get angry about this kind of thing because i see clearly where things could have gone to make them better. We we could have avoided this point in time. This point where even legendary items. Could fill a couple different buckets. So to speak. And the fact that we have gone this direction. Continues to make me upset. So you want you want to know if you are asking yourself the question, well, what does make van what makes vanilla special at all? Here it is. When you see someone with a legendary in vanilla, you know, like you are entirely aware that that legendary took months of effort, easily months of effort, and it took an entire guild. Working together just to get the opportunity to maybe get it. And they only got one. And you you take pause in that. And make sure when you engage that person in PvP. Or you work with that person in a raid or in an instance. That you show them just a little bit more respect for having gone through the process and earned that. With this, it doesn't mean anything. It's meaningless now. 
That's what makes vanilla special. So that's that's my morning rant. I saw this and I had to get it out of my system. Thank you, everyone. I, I'm looking forward to tomorrow. Saturday is when the uh, Nostalgia's PvP server drops, as well as the PvE one. I won't be playing on that one, though. It's good to see you all. Have a great day. I'm Dan, and this has been YouTube.com slash The Robin Dan Show. Have a good day, everyone. Bye-bye now.